topic 15.4, interpreting line graphs. Now line graphs are different from bar graphs. Bar graphs show an amount or how much of something, and line graphs show change over time. So let's take a look at an example of a line graph and analyze that data. Uh, here we have a line graph. We have Katie keeping a biking log. She basically wanted to show how many miles she biked over a period of time. So we have miles over here and then down here we have the time. You'll notice the increments we're counting by hours and then we're going up the total number of miles. So easy to read by hour three. How far has she ridden? That'd be five miles. By hour five she has ridden seven miles. So take a look at this line here. We see that the line is basically going up. Line graphs are showing change over time, and sometimes people say that you can use line graphs to show what are called trends. Okay, so here we have what is called an upward trend. Uh, you can also have lines on line graphs that may go down, going down like this. That would be called a downward trend. Tonight, for your um, assignment, what I want you to do is think of an example that for the most part if it were represented by a line graph it would have an upward trend so change over time something that you know might dip down a little bit but for the most part if your data were represented on a line graph it would have an upward trend let's go ahead and get rid of this one and then also I'd like for you to Think of an example of where your data might have a downward trend. An example um, in real life that if that data were represented on a line graph would have a downward slope. Again, you can check with your parents. So just give me some examples over on the right and we'll take a look at those and I'll see you in the morning.